Welcome to CCK. Hi friends, it's Miss Christina and today we have Piper with us and we are going to be reading a very special book. It's called Pro-Life Kids. Whoop, where's Piper? <laughs> by Bethany Baumberger and illustrated by Ed Kohler. But before we get to the book, we wanted to do a little activity. So, I'm going to ask a couple questions and we'll see what you guys think and what Piper thinks, okay? Okay. <clears throat> Piper, do you think that all people are special? Come over here. Yes. Yes, you do? Okay. Do you think that I'm more special than you because I'm older and you're younger? Do you think I'm more special? Or do you think we're both equally special? We're both special. We're both special. Yeah, it doesn't matter that you're younger and I'm older. Do you think that you're more special because you're little and I'm not as special because I'm bigger? We're both special. We are both special because you're little and I'm bigger and that's okay, right? Because yeah. that's exactly how God made us at this time. And yeah. so we're both special. Special, no matter how big we are, no matter how old we are. Mm -hmm. How about this? Do you think that having light hair, blonde hair is more special or having brown, dark hair like mine more special? Well, they're both special. They're both special. You might like one or the other more, right? Yeah. But that doesn't mean one is better than the other. Yeah. Yeah, we're both special. Yeah. Let me ask you one more thing. So we all think that Piper is special, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you guys think that's Piper special? Yeah, I think so too. Now, if I take this blanket. Oh, it's a big blanket. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a big quilt. Now, here's Piper, right? Piper's <laughs> special. If I take this quilt and I put it on top of Piper. Oh. Now you can't see her. Is she any less special? No, that's just silly, because obviously she's still there. <laughs> it's still Piper, yeah. right? It's still Piper. Even when she's hidden and you can't see her, she's still Piper, and she's still special. Yeah. So I want you to remember that when we read our book, OK? So remember, we're reading Pro-Life Kids by Bethany Baumberger and illustrated by Ed Kohler. All right, let's get started. Oh, yeah, there's some really cool pictures here. Cute, cute, cute. My favorite is the baby. The baby is Piper's favorite. Look at that little baby. Oh, she's so cute. Okay, sit down, Piper. Let's read. Let me find the first page. Here we go. <clears throat> Pro-life means for life. We're cheering for you. Your life is important. That's There's only one you. You're special. Just right. You're one of a kind. The world needs your talents, your heart, and your mind. God made you unique. You have no clone. Your fingerprints are yours. Yes, yours alone. He knit you together one cell at a time with love and attention, a plan so divine. Can you sit up a little bit? Sit right here. Yeah. Right there. There we go. It doesn't matter your size or your age. You have equal value, whatever the stage. Look, it starts all the way, goes all the way up. <laughs> and where you live won't determine your worth. You're a person. It's true. Even before your birth. Where does this baby live? In her tummy. In her mommy's tummy. Yeah, that's where you live before you're born. Sadly, there are those who don't understand that life has purpose. 
whether you're planned or unplanned. These say, blobs of tissue have no rights. It's not a person. They're just clumps of cells and my body, my choice. Oh, those are things that they're saying about babies. Mm, not good. This man is saying, you're not a person. Throughout history, many believed a lie. You're not a person. No way, they cried. Today, many think that lie is still true, that babies in wombs aren't people too. Abortion is when some say it's okay to take that baby's precious life away. Your color, your gender, and nationality, your abilities, looks, and great personality. They make you you. Fully human indeed. No exceptions, no exclusions. That's the pro-life creed. Like many before us who stood for what's right, we'll never give up as we fight for life. This says we are created equal. Racism is America's shame. We have a dream. Racism is a sin. I am a man. Love mamas and their babies. Sidewalk counselors love you. Every life has a purpose. Some of the best things in life are unplanned. Adoption is love. Bro life, pro life kid. We are one human race and life has purpose. Wait, I got a question. What's your question? Um, I forgot what he said. He says, we are one human race. We're all a part of the human race. Let it be known, we're glad you're alive. Our world is better because you've arrived. So speak up for life. Raise your voice. Speak up for those silenced who have no choice. Speak to anyone who needs to know truth. Speak about life to every adult, child, and youth. You were created, or we are created equal. I'm adopted and loved. No one is a mistake. Everyone's wanted by someone. You matter and your life has purpose. That one says no one is a mistake. So abortion lies will all be shattered. As more hearts believe, humanity matters. One day you will see that all you have done was worth every moment to save even one. Because when you reach one, and I do too, before we know it, we'll see a breakthrough. The culture of life will continue to grow. It'll spread across nations the more love we show. Moms and dads will choose loving options. They'll parent their child or place for adoption. I think today you adopted. This is Miss Bethany's family, Miss Bethany who wrote the book. This is her and her husband and her four children. So she adopted them. Someone somewhere is depending on you to fight for their worth and cheer for them too. Join millions of us in cities and towns who are pro-life and will never back down. This is a pregnancy resource center and this is in, in front of a courthouse praying to end abortion. We are pro-life kids, so dreams come alive. We are pro-life kids, so our future survives. We are pro-life kids, till injustice ends. We are pro-life kids, it's life we defend. Oops, let me go around you. Hey, Mommy. 
What does the sign say? His shield says defend life and he looks like a superhero. Yeah. Oops, one more. We are pro-life kids. That's you and that's me. We impact our world to change destinies. And that is the end. Isn't that? And there's a bunch of little stories at the back of the book about different kids who have chosen to be pro-life and they share their stories. Some of them were adopted and um, there's a whole bunch of little testimonies in the back. And then on the back, they have this little pledge which you can download at their website at prolifekids.com. And it says, I pledge to protect and value all human life. I will be a voice for the unborn. And then you can sign it and write the date. There's also a whole bunch of really cool coloring pages on their website that we colored, didn't we, Piper? Yeah. Yeah, we colored them, and they're all pictures of um, the kids in the book. And it has some of them have scripture and some of them don't. Um, but what did you think of that book? Oh, you sleepy. <laughs> what do you think of the book? Okay. It's good, isn't it? Well, we hope you enjoyed that book, and we hope that you love life and value life of all people, whether they're in their mommy's tummy still, or they're born, or they're really old. It what doesn't matter how old they are, or how big they are, or what color their skin is, that all life matters. And so we hope that you enjoyed this book, and we'll come back and read you another book soon. Bye!